Prognoptics is going to change the course of Alzheimer's disease by detecting it early. We've developed a simple eye test that looks at beta amyloid, one of the hallmarks of the disease that forms plaque in the brain, and we're able to measure it in the eye. There's an urgent need for a quick and reliable predictive test that is also widely accessible and cost-effective for the early diagnosis and treatment of Alzheimer's disease. We're not really that accurate uh, currently in our diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease. In very mildly impaired patients, such as those with mild cognitive impairment, our diagnostic accuracy is probably no better than chance, which is 50%. That's pretty shocking. At slightly more advanced stages, such as people with mild suspected Alzheimer's dementia, our diagnostic accuracy is a little better but it's still not anywhere close to the 80 to 100% that we would like to achieve. With our Sapphire eye test, a patient, the night before they come into their procedure, applies a small ribbon of ophthalmic ointment to their eyelid, and they sleep on it overnight. They come in the next day, and it's about a five-minute procedure. They just sit in front of a small device, they sight a, a colored spot, and the operator takes a picture of the inside of their eye. Our test is looking at beta amyloid in the lens of the eye. Beta amyloid is one of the hallmarks of Alzheimer's disease. It's what forms plaque in the brain. You don't have Alzheimer's disease if you don't have this plaque. We've found that this plaque develops in the eye in parallel with the development in the brain. So rather than doing expensive brain imaging, we're able to do a non-invasive eye scan that only takes a few minutes, and we're able to detect the development of this beta amyloid in the eye. The definitive diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease requires pathological confirmation at autopsy because we need to visualize the hallmarks of Alzheimer's, which are the plaques and the tangles. But clinically, we have not been able to visualize the plaques and tangles in a cost-effective manner. And because of that, clinically, we still diagnose patients using clinical criteria. And that is one major reason why we're not so accurate. So any test that can bring us closer to the pathological gold standard is really a boon for our field. Researchers from Mass General Hospital and Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston made the direct correlation between the eye and the brain in Alzheimer's disease. They found beta amyloid, one of the hallmarks of the disease, growing in the lens of the eye. And this is an early indicator of development of the disease. We've licensed a compound from the University of California which selectively binds with the protein we're interested in in the eye. It's applied topically to the eye the night before the procedure. It actually penetrates into the lens and marks these protein aggregates we're able to quantitatively measure the amount of aggregation by shining a low-power laser light into the eye and measuring the output of this compound. Through clinical trials, we plan on setting thresholds in determining what are safe levels of this protein aggregate in the eye. We also think that we can use this technology to monitor the progression of the disease and potentially to monitor therapeutic intervention. Uh, currently, for drug development purposes, Alzheimer's is diagnosed purely on clinical grounds. And if 30% of the cases of Alzheimer's that enter a clinical drug trial are wrongly diagnosed, then that could be one reason why many of our drugs are failing. So it's very, very important to have an accurate and predictive test so that we can more accurately enroll a homogeneous group of patients in our clinical trials. The promise of the technology is actually to start testing people earlier. And we're going to conduct trials to determine if we can use this as a technology pre-symptomatically. And uh, it would be similar to a cholesterol test or um, mammography or colonoscopy, a, a screening test that could be done on an annual basis starting in your 50s to make sure that um, there's early detection of the disease 
and early in intervention. Again, the only way to change the course of this disease is to intervene early. And the only way to do that is to detect it early. Any peripheral diagnostic marker that we can validate and bring to the clinic that is widely accessible and cost effective uh, is really going to be a big advantage. Currently, we have amyloid PET scans. Now, the nice thing about amyloid PET scans is they can directly visualize the plaque buildup in the brain. The disadvantage of PET scans is that they are not as widely accessible in primary care clinics. Most PET scans are located in specialized centers or in hospitals. They are expensive. They also involve some exposure to radiation. Therefore, any kind of a diagnostic test that can be put directly in a family doctor's office and is available at the point of care and is low cost and widely accessible will clearly be seen as very desirable. We know our technology works. We're moving forward aggressively with the clinical trials to get this to market. And we're going to change the course of this disease by detecting it early.